What is going on guys? It is Fatal Reaper Day bringing you guys a video on how to clean your gaming laptop. So I've uh, recently before done a video on how to clean the HP Pavilion. This is the HP Pavilion gaming laptop. Once again, I'm using it for this example. Uh, first things you're going to want to do is make sure you do have the right tools. You're going to want a miniature screwdriver. You can purchase these off Amazon. You can usually find them in Walmart stores, Office Max, anything like that. You're going to want the tiny screwdriver to be able to take out the... Uh, there should be four... There should be seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven screws. Four at the top that are longer and then three on the bottom. After you've removed the back plate, again, make sure your laptop is turned off um, during this process. And of course all that and it's unplugged and everything like that then you can use something called an air duster which is what i'm using here or you can get something called a can of air i'll have a link in the description of this air duster in the video can of air is a little bit more cheaper you probably can get them for three or four bucks in a pack and get a few of those do uh be mindful of can of air you can get them office max walmart in the computer section and stuff like that do be careful though and wary of those they can create condensation once you've done that uh you want to go ahead and put your laptop back casing back on and then of course make sure all of the edges snap back on and then you want to screw the ends back in again four screws on the top three on the bottom now this may be different for different gaming laptops or laptops in general if you are cleaning your laptop uh, that being said just remember this is the HP Pavilion gaming laptop I've had this laptop for a little over um, it, or coming up on three years now Laptop's been great, uh, but to keep things in good shape and things like that, you know, you have to take care of them uh, and proper maintenance and stuff like that, especially with cleaning and all that. Once you've done that, guys, you can flip your laptop back over here, and then you're going to want to use some of this screen cleaner. You can use water. Uh, I wouldn't use anything other than, or actually, I wouldn't really use water. I would you probably use screen cleaner like this. You can find this at Walmart or something like Office Max again. You can typically find this in the computer section. And they usually come if you get a pack with this soft cloth, as you can see I'm using up here. Anything other than that, I would recommend using like a soft shirt or something like that. I wouldn't recommend using a rag. They're a little rough sometimes, so I would definitely use like a soft shirt, something really soft. Another thing to add, if you have a can of air or using the air duster that you see in this video, after you've screen, uh, you know, used the screen cleaner on your uh, screen, because that's usually what it's mainly used for, you can wipe down your screen, get that all clean from any paw prints or anything like that paw prints oh, I mean fingerprints um <laughs> I do own a dog so anyways um so you do want to make sure you use that air duster right here in your speakers or the uh can of air use them on your key uh little keep uh keypads too on your keyboard and your mouse pad there's going to be dust build up and everything like that so make sure that's all taken care of though and without further ado guys that is the video that is how you clean a gaming laptop if you guys want to see more videos like that leave me a thumbs up leave a comment down below I'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching